Hello? How? Sorry, who are you? Same question on my mind. Who are you? I am... What? I don't know. You don't know who you are? Um, you, who are you and how did you end up in the same room? How did you get in here? This, this, this is my house. You have to be kidding me. This, this is my house. You're not making any sense. Take a look at the dressing table. Those are my cosmetics. You're not looking carefully. Those are my portraits. Those are my pictures. That's a clear indication that this is my house. Then, if it's your house, how did I end up here with my stuffs? You have to start explaining yourself. Ken, where is my cousin? What part of what I said don't you understand? I said she left. Left for where? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure you're joking. I'm not joking. You mean your wife just upped and vanished into thin air? I have been calling her cell phone, but it's been switched off. I was even hoping that you know a thing or two about her whereabouts. Mm, seriously? Oh yes, seriously. <laughs> Besides, the both of you have been hanging out lately, haven't you? Ken, I'm very sure you are aware that, that over a week now, I have been out of the country. I can't be too sure. Very smart. I've been out on an official assignment for my firm. Okay. Ken, have you finally killed her? Sarah, are you out of your mind? Oh, you will know very soon. But for your own good, she better be found alive. Or else, you will have the law to reckon with. My, my memory is vague. I don't have an idea. Really? Really? You know what? You should just... Take your stuff and leave already. For real? Leave and go where? I don't know. Wherever you emanated from. I don't remember anything. Okay, assuming this is not my house. Are you for real? Seriously? Even after all the evidence staring you in the face? And you? You've not told me who you are. Who are you? I am... My name is... I, I just can't remember for now. <laughs> you can't recall? I can't recall mine. Doesn't that tell you something? Something like what? I think... 
I should look around for for something. For something that belongs to me. Something that can identify. Yeah. <laughs> you see? That's my face on the wallpaper. Yeah, that's it. Then that means I should have a cell phone somewhere. Hello? Yeah, please, can you remind me how we met? I'm serious. I, I seem to have suffered some form of amnesia. I'm not joking. She cut the phone on me. Who? I don't know, some lady. Her name is saved on the phone as Tonya. And she called me Alfred. So, that's your name? Apparently. Is that even necessary? You don't expect to find a cell phone under the bed. I still recall you found yours beneath the mattress. Beneath the mattress is not beneath the bed. Can I help? Ah! What? So this is it now, right? This is what? You even had the audacity to hand over my sleep shirt to her. Your sleep shirt? Three days! Just three days and this is what you resort to. Hey, look here, young lady. I really don't know who you are. But you had to tell me who you are and... and, and oh, oh. Ah! And you! Oh. Just... Please. Hey! Leave me alone! It's... Who was that for? Just a second, please. Um, There's some sort of... Misunderstanding here. This guy here, right here, him and I, we woke up on the same bed. This really? Morning. Yes, as strange as this may sound. I don't know who he is. Same with him. And the scary part is that we both seem to have suffered some sort of memory loss. Like, I don't, I don't know who, I don't know who I am, what my name is, and even how we got into this place. Wow! You guys must really think I'm a fool, right? Mm. Hey, look here, girl. Now I'm gonna ask you this the final time. Okay? Who are you? Oh, please, um, he's saying the truth. Please, he just realized his name was Alfred. Um, after a certain lady named Tonya called him, not quite long. You want to start talking or you want to take your leave? My name is Tonya, your fiancé, medical doctor by profession. Ring a bell. Fiancé? Wow. You really don't look bad for a fiancé. Kenneth Okoa, right? And um, who are you? I am Detective John Alani from State CID. Okay. I'm here with respect to your wife, Eva. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I come in? Sure. Come in. Thank you. 
Considering for just a second that what both of you are saying is actually true, the question remains, how did she get in here in the first place? Why is she even here? I, I don't have an answer to that for now. Um, maybe I should just go in and pack my stuffs and leave. Please, by all means, pick your stuffs and get out. So, can you tell me of your wife's whereabouts? Just like I reported to the police, she's missing. Oh. You already reported to the police? Yes, I did. Where and when did you do that? Area F, yesterday. Okay. There is a complaint against you at the state CID accusing you of complicity in your wife's disappearance. And that will be Sarah, my wife's cousin. Mm. Assuming she's the one, why would she be suspecting you in your wife's disappearance? Hatred, obviously. She doesn't like me. Hmm. Is there any precise reason for that? Not that I know of. <clears throat> Ken. It's just the two of us here. And uh, I don't think I am the guy you want to mess with. Dictator, listen to me. My wife is missing here. And the only thing I'm interested in are possible ways to find her. Not someone else's irrelevant field with me. So, can you tell me how your wife got missing? God. I came back from work that day and... Eva! Eva, I'm home! Honey? Ah. Honey? Why would your wife go away and not want you to look for her? Exactly what I've been thinking since I read that. You're not making any sense here, you know. How exactly? Mr. Okoa. Ken, preferably. Can you describe your relationship with your wife? Cordial. Information before us says otherwise. The information before you is baseless. You know what I see when I look at you. I'm curious to know. I see a cold-blooded guy capable of doing anything. I think I need you to be more explicit. Capable of what exactly? Leave me to the bedroom. I'd like to look around. That sounds more like searching. Do you have a problem with that? Except you have a warrant for that. Do you? <laughs> can, 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 can. 
Are you sure you're up for the consequences of obstructing a police investigation? Perhaps the person who put you on my case should have made the point clear to you that I am a legal practitioner. I am a lawyer and I know my rights. Mm. Okay. Make sure you don't leave town. I'll be in touch. Have a good day. What are you doing? Hey! Are you deaf? I'm talking to you. Can you just let the young lady be? Let her pack her stuff and leave. What stuff? Everything here belongs to me. Are you kidding? The cosmetics, everything here is mine. Everything? Yes, the cosmetics, the clothes, everything is mine. This is probably what is not mine. Oh, oh my god. Just a hunch. Ruling out bodily accident, which is obviously not the case here. That limits my suspicion to one thing. Which is? Cineclox. What's that? It's a very powerful prototype drug, capable of erasing your past memories forever. It was actually conceived for rape victims, victims of domestic violence and the likes to serve as an alternative option for them to be able to reset their brains rather than resort to suicide. The World Health Organization actually placed a ban on this drug. You know, while there's an ongoing debate to ascertain whether we need it or not, because quite frankly, we don't know if we do. But for some reason, it's back in the black market and selling like wildfire. Wow, that, that, now that sounds really scary. Now the question is, do you have a past you desperately need to get rid of? I... I don't know. Alright, um, you know what, I think we should just allow her to stay here for a while while we're able to ascertain what happened and how it actually happened. So this is where you'll be staying. Here, keep these clothes for your personal use, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Double Max tattoo me. This explains it all. This is the reason you had to resort to Cine Clocks. Oh my goodness. You know what? Just calm down. Just relax. I'm sure I can find something that can counteract the effect of the drug you took. I'll be right back, okay? Don't do anything crazy. Trust me.
What's up? I went in search of some drugs with the capacity to counteract the effect of the ones you guys took. And? I couldn't get any for now. But I've made some calls and I placed an order. Hopefully we'll get something within a couple of days. Okay guys, I finally got the drugs. Relax. Okay, so what next? We just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. Any hope? Nothing. I actually see. searched, I searched everywhere for the slightest clue. To, you know, to corroborate your suspicion. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ah, there has to be something. There must be something. Hey. Eh? You know, just let's be hopeful. We're going to find your cousin and alive at that. Uh, okay. We'll find how. Yeah. Uh, we have our men and uh, surveillance team out there searching everywhere for him tirelessly. Okay. That's good. okay. That's and good. one more thing. Have you been able to contact her or? Anybody that's had anything to do with her? Baby. No, not at all. <laughs> that could be the problem. Okay, you know what? Let's be rest assured. We're working tirelessly. We will find her. All right? Just keep trying her number. You just might get lucky. You understand? All right? Well, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. I remember now. Okay. How about you? I remember everything. Okay, guys. I'm listening. Starting with you. Look at 
feel a sharp pain on my breast. <sighs> Wait. Let me guess. You have your bra on. <sighs> Come on. Eva, why are you like this? I've told you times without number that it's not healthy to go around with bras all the time. Not to talk of the tight ones. You come back from work, it's expected of you to just pull your bra and free yourself. Ken, I also recall telling you that I don't like moving around with my boobs dangling up and down. Uh, honey, it's the two of us here. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Why don't you just settle for the um, bra tube that you ladies wear? Mm -mm. I prefer my bra. Stubborn girl. Mm -mm. I need mean, yeah. Anyways, suit yourself. You're hungry and you won't let me go make you lunch. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're the one that will not let me go. Me? Mm. Mm -hmm. How? <laughs> Are you asking me? <laughs> Are you asking me how? Mm. Mm? Mm. Mm. Like that? Mm? What? I mean, see how you've eventually gotten me addicted to your cookies. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's now cookies, right? Um. <laughs> yeah. Please, better free me now that I have strength to go make you lunch. We can resume whatever business we have here later. More <laughs> like it, darling. And that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. So, let's go make something nice. Hmm? He was talking last, see if you can even cook. You want me to shock you, right? Let's head to the kitchen. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm behind you. Yeah, let's go. Ken Okowa. His wife. Ah. No, 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 cut it. I told you I'm skillful, huh? No, no, why should I cry? Yeah. But I'm sincere. No, 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 it's normal. You know, that's how it is, you know, those days when we cook. Yeah, we have tears drop so that it can be tasteful, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Let's take a chill here, man. This is our role, man. <laughs> ah. Should test this and feel what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me help you. Mm. Hmm. Let me do my job. Let me do a complete job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, I don't get. Like, don't I deserve a very big? I don't even know what to say. For that. Come oh, on. Maybe I should just do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, on a second take, you give me another take. On another take, you give me another take. On another take, but when you get to the beef, you can now give me a blown kiss. <laughs> Are you sure you deserve that? Much more than that, you know. Mm. Mm. You know, I went to the kitchen to sweat for your, for your sake. I mm. see. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, darling. Look at, look, at, look at Tom. Wait, do you know this Tommy, Abby, this dear rich of them? Tom. Tommy is very stupid. Like, so I don't know. <laughs> you eventually, you know, made me start watching this thing. <laughs> now, wow. This but then, how, how, wait. Jeez. If this happens to any human, then there's going to be a problem. <laughs> It's actually funny, yeah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Eva, Eva, what is it? This pain.
pain on my breast is back again. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Sorry, don't worry. This will pass, okay? <sighs> Just do yourself a favor of not wearing tight bras at home. I mean, not wearing bras at all. But I'm not wearing one presently. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm just saying, oh. just maintain it this way. I know you're not used to not wearing brass. You know, you'll get used to this gradually, okay? Okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. Is there anything I can do to subside the pain? Just started. Who says it? Oh, one forty-five a.m. It's middle of the night. There's nothing we can do. Please help me. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, how about I get you aspirin? Just take it for immediate effect. Just take it, cheer it, cheer it. I have your biopsy test results here with me, but before we go into the details, I would like to ask you some more questions. Okay. Um, the mild pains you said you were experiencing in your breasts, for how long have you been experiencing it? For some time now. Um, could you be more specific? Well, I started experiencing a sharp pain recently, like a week or two. But before that, it's just a mild pain that would last for a few minutes. Mm. Okay, um, I'm not so much concerned about the sharp pains that are recent, but the mild pains before. How long? A month? A week? Yeah, months. Maybe more. Okay. But I can't, I can't really say. And when you were experiencing it, what did you do? Nothing. Nothing? you should have at least gone to the hospital for a medical checkup. No, it's just a mild pain. Like, I didn't take it seriously. A lot of times, the things that we view as unserious and little turn out to be something much more serious. Unfortunately, that's the case now. This is pretty serious. Um, doctor, at least we're here for the checkup now. Can you let us know how serious what we are dealing with is. In a moment, uh, these pains, do you know any of your relatives that have 
experienced symptoms of this sort? I'm not sure. But why? Like I said, this is pretty serious. I don't want to unduly alarm you, but I want you to rest assured that we will do everything in our capacity to deal with this and that you'll be just fine. Um, Doctor, you're just going round and round the circle. I mean, why don't you just speak it? Let us know what we're dealing with here. What? Okay. We're dealing with a very aggressive form of type 3 cancer. A rare case of synchronous bilateral breast cancer. Now, my express recommendation for effective and lasting treatment is a double mastectomy. What? No way. I mean, what about chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and other alternative means of treatment? Alternative means of treatment would have been effective if this had been diagnosed early. But as it is, this is way too advanced. Uh, we can explore those alternative means of therapy as a secondary form of treatment, but our main form of treatments must be the double mastectomy. Um, hold on doctor, when you said double mastectomy, what were you referring to please? I'm talking about the surgical removal of both your breasts. My... My what? No. <laughs> Eva, how many times have I warned you to do away with tight bras? How many times? Morning, afternoon, night, every minute of the day, you're always wearing bra. Even when you're supposed to be sleeping. Oh my God. And anytime I get to complain, it seems to you like I talk too much, I don't even know what I am talking about. Now look at you now. Now, they're going to chop off those beautiful breasts of yours. <laughs> Damn it! Frequent use of brass has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with breast cancer. Okay? It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Stop now. Yeah? Please. In fact, where's your husband? I need to speak with him. Come on. I want to talk with you. What is it? Shouldn't you be with your, with your wife controlling her? Eh? Sarah, what is the essence of being with a woman who is incapable of heeding your advice? What advice? Oh, you mean the advice of her frequent use of bras? Not just frequent use of bras, but constantly using tight bras. Then she has to struggle with the, with the discomfort that comes with it. Now, here comes the result. Finally, she has breast cancer as a consolation. Ken, who told you that wearing tight bras has anything to do with breast cancer? Are you saying that I don't know what I read myself? Huh? <laughs> okay, tell me. Which medical or health journal do you read that trash from? Madam, you have a smartphone, right? 
use your online search engines. Oh, oh, I see. You go online, pick up nonsense from it, come back home, it's on your wife. Ken, I thought you were a lawyer. You must be learned, aren't you? So what's all this nonsense? Sarah, I don't have time for this, your baseless argument. Really? Look here, Ken. Mastectomy is not the end of life. Don't make this harder than it is already for your wife. You need to be with her. Support her. Ken. Ken. Eva! Eva! What's keeping you upstairs now? Would you come downstairs or get out of this house? Madam, why have you been keeping me waiting? Do you know what? You can leave. I'll find my way to the hospital. Wait. Did I hear you say I can go? You'll find your way to the hospital? Fine. Don't worry. Switch yourself. No wahala. But mind you, I don't want to get to that hospital and keep waiting for you, okay? And if I do, you're free to leave. I'll be waiting for you. due to go in for surgery in the next two hours. I just wanted to take some time to find out how you're doing. I'm hanging in there. I can understand. So, do you guys have any questions? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm curious to know if breast cancer can arise as a result of consistent use of bras, especially the tight ones. Yeah, I, I like to know too. I I'm, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but that's just a figment of people's imagination. There's no medical basis for that. So I want you guys to know that with time and treatment, this will pass. We have a very effective care team. Our social support system has helped so many couples bounce back to their regular lifestyles after therapy. So much so that some of the people who've gone through the procedures, especially the women, they sponsor women of mid to low level incomes to go abroad for reconstructive surgery. Plastic surgery? Ew! That's nonsense. No, 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 sir. You need to keep an open mind. I assure you that with the right mindset, you will find the aftermath quite exciting. Just like all the other couples who shared their testimonies with us, you can emerge from this stronger and happy. <laughs> I'm 
so happy you made it out. Hmm? Sure, you'll be very fine, okay? Everyone is praying for you. Hmm? Hi. Aren't you hungry? We brought you food. Hello, Eva. How are you doing today? I don't know, doctor. Oh. Um, well, that's just one of the side effects of the mastectomy. Okay. Um, yeah, I understand and I could give you something for that, but... I would prefer not to over-medicate you, so... Why don't we just let it be and see how quickly it will pass? Okay. All right. You have a good day. something to eat. Look, I am weak as well. I mean, I've really overstressed myself by tidying the house and making food. So I really need rest as well. Ken. Ken, please. Eva, are you deaf? I said...
Be this heartless. This food for me you blatantly refused, knowing my condition. Despite the doctor's advice on how you should, this whole thing has opened my eyes to a lot of things. For once, I thought we're in this for better, for worse. I'm trying to help you now, you're not. Madam, are you going to stand up or not? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. somewhere. Sarah, what was that for in my own house? You almost pushed me to the ground. <laughs> See, I'm here for my cousin. Eva! Sweet, I'm here. You're here for your cousin. Hmm? Come, okay. you. I didn't know you could be so cruel to the extent of leaving your wife to die. Why? Because life happens to her. It could have been you, you know. It could have been you too. You could have been down with one ailment or another. You could have been down with one ailment or another. And the evil that I know, 
could have taken it upon herself to care for you and support you. Come, look, let me tell you something. Whatever you wish me, I wish you in multiple folds. Ken. Let me tell you, back to sender. Can God punish you. God punish you. God punish you. Punish you hundred times. Eva, Eva, come downstairs. Come and talk to the animal you brought to the house. Hey, 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 please, just, just hold it there. I'm not Eva. So what are you going to do? Please, there. This is all you're carrying. Come, come, let's go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, so what's going on here? We're living this hellhole you call a house. Penny, when she gets healed. For your information, then the L.O. is where she has been for this years. Yeah. Be careful of yourself. Hello, you see your life? You see your life? You see, what you see, you see, your life? Hmm? You see how, you, how you let your cousin to start running about on me, right? Point speed on me. Do I blame you? This is the pit hole you've been living for years until you caused yourself this trouble. Now you, you, want me to be, you, want, you want me to take full responsibility for that? Huh? If you want to go, you can go. Join her. So I thought. Good. Go if you want to go. Go! At least I'll get some peace. Let's not forget I'm still your husband, okay? So you shouldn't be talking to me like that. dare you bring another woman into my bed? Did I hear you say your bed? Not your bed. My bed. Bought with my hard earned money. Oh. Your bed and not our matrimonial bed. Right? 
look, it looks like you're missing out on a point here. Nobody's deliberating about ownership of matrimonial bed or whatsoever. We're talking about what she has and you don't. I see. Oh, yes. You should see. For crying out loud, I'm a man. I am not gay. She has boobs. Good one at that, and you don't. Come on. A man needs something soft and warm. Please. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. I can't believe my ears. First, you blame me for wearing tight bras. That they are responsible for my predicaments. Now, boobs. What happened to the breast reconstructive surgery suggested by the doctors? <laughs> I love my boobs natural. I am a sucker for natural products. Not some synthetic prosthetics invented all in the name of plastic surgery. Come on. I'm not gonna have that. Excuse me. Okay then, I'll be off for the rest of the day, but if there's anything you need, you know you can always reach out to any of the nurses. Okay. All right. Um, doctor, I have been doing some research online about a drug. Okay. What drug? I've been looking for this particular drug capable of erasing one's past memories for life. Is there any such drug? Why are you asking for such a drug? Doctor, he won't understand. What, what, what do you need such a drug for, Eva? It's personal. Well, Eva, this conversation is moot because such a drug does not exist legally. And even if it did exist illegally, I, I couldn't administer such. That kind of unethical practice would be detrimental to your health and it could cost me my medical license. Okay, it's fine. Let's forget it. Eva, uh, is there something I should know about? You, you know you can always talk to me about anything. Doctor, if such drug exists, I did rather have some. Or else, let's forget about it. Okay, uh, I really have to be off, but I'm really concerned, so I'm going to ask one of the nurses to keep an eye on you. And when I get back, we will talk more about this. Okay. Okay? Please Thank don't you. do anything rash in my absence. Thank you.
Ờ không trịch Take care of yourself okay? Excuse me um, I need a favor from you Okay um, I'm aware that there's a particular brand of amnesia inducing drug capable of wiping past memories in humans Please, can you help me get some? Why would you need such a man that I love? My husband has been treating me like trash just because breast cancer caught me. This was a man that I loved so much. Mm. Treating me with such disdain. I've got it up to my neck. And my only resolve is walking away and forgetting that I ever met him. So please, help me get this drug before I kill myself, please. Well, I'm just a nurse. Oh. And that particular drug, I'm aware that can do that, is, is an illegal drug. Even as a nurse? See, I, I, I know you guys have your way around this drug market. Please, help me get this drug. I'm ready to pay you any amount. Um, whatever, whatever it's going to cost you, your troubles, everything, I'm ready to pay you, please. Okay? abroad tomorrow morning. Something came up. I was nominated to represent the department in the conference. It was impromptu. Wow. That's cool. I'm happy for you. Well, how long are you staying? Uh, seven days max. Should I leave the house keys for you? Will you be able to stay alone while I'm away? Mm, no, I don't think so. How about your stuff here? Um, I think that can wait till you get back. Alright, dear. In the meantime, think less of that lousy husband of yours and have a good night rest there. Good to there. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear. And I wish you a safe journey, okay? Thanks, dear. Goodbye. Hello, Ma. I'm at your gate. Okay.
No one must know I give this to you. I'm risking my job doing this. Of course. Of course. Thank you. A tablet every day for 15 days should do the job. Okay? Okay. okay. Don't exceed a tablet. And don't mix, don't mix this drug with alcohol. It might knock you out. Knock me out. How do you mean? Just follow the details. I don't have the prescriptions. Okay, um, how much is it, please? 75,000 naira. Oh, okay. How about I give you 100,000 for your troubles? No problems. Thank you very much. Um, would you accept transfer because I don't have cash at hand? No problems, ma'am. Okay. Why you my? Who am I saying? Eva. Why are you back here? Ain't you supposed to be with your cousin? Wait, let me guess. She kicked you out? Or she's tired of taking care of you? <laughs> oh, let me guess also. You want me out of this house so you could continue frolicking with your women of milky breast and bring them here? <laughs> Eva, watch the next thing that comes out of your mouth. Oh, what, Ken? Tell me, what? You're the most pathetic human being I've ever met. Nothing but a total jerk. <laughs> you think those things dangling between your legs makes you a man? Uh-uh. -uh. Balls don't make a man. You can't even stand in the midst of men. You're nothing but filthy scum. You're a fool! I also remember the part where I picked her up from the roadside. Yeah. And she. she yeah, I, I remember vividly. So you mean your husband did all this to you? That's one hell of a man. You know what? First thing tomorrow morning, we're taking this to the police station. A man like that shouldn't be allowed to walk away scot-free. No, he can't get away with this. All right, uh, come. Let's let me let me take you to your bedroom where you will rest. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. This way. 
Uh, are you okay? Yeah, just slight headache. Uh, but this is your sleep dress. Yeah, um, it's actually my fiance's. Yeah, you might want to use it to, to, to help you sleep comfortably tonight. You have a fiance? Yeah, I do. Well, she's currently not in the country at the moment. Yeah, well, just uh, just for that home, all right? Okay. And uh, just in case you need any other thing, do not hesitate to call on me, all right? I will be at either the guest room or the living room. Shouldn't I rather be at the guest room? <laughs> no, I don't think that would be a good idea. It's pretty messy at the moment, and I don't have plans okay. of cleaning it up to tonight. All right, so um, okay. just 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 go ahead and let me know if you need something. Pardon. Shouldn't I get water for you? That would be necessary. How come you're taking five tablets at once? It's a brand of paracetamol. It's not that strong. Oh wow. Well, you shouldn't even be taking five at once. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Thank you. I'm so sorry about your predicament there. <laughs> be rest assured that whatever you need from now, we will be there for you. Okay? And that husband of yours, he has to pay for attempted murder. He's not getting away with it. You are under arrest for the attempted murder of your wife, Miss Eva, which is a criminal act and punishable under the Lagos State Government Law. You have the right to remain silent as anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. You are entitled to an attorney or a lawyer. And if you can't afford one, we'll be glad to provide you with one. Officer, handcuff this criminal. I told you, 